This is a very, very difficult story, and I have all of the respect in the world for the story and the families uh, involved in the story. So I offer my most heartfelt sympathies to the families that were affected by this. Um, and I did a live stream earlier on this channel, and we, m myself and Ryan Kennel from RK Outpost and Patriot Outpost were uh, on here, and, and I did my best to try to you know, give Alec Baldwin, someone that I do not like and do not respect, uh, I tried to give this individual the benefit of the doubt because this is a horrific situation. Horrific. Words can't put in, uh, you can't put it into words how horrific this is. A and so the one thing that you, you probably should never do is give Hollywood people the benefit of the doubt. And I know that firsthand. I I I've actually given Hollywood people the benefit of the doubt and it bit me in my ass. And I learned from that. This is more so just a commentary and just trying to be respectful of the situation. The more we start to hear about Alec Baldwin and the horrific things this man has said and the horrific decision-making and the horrific way that he treats other people that find themselves in difficult situations, it just continues to show what type of people Hollywood uh, people are. They are deranged. They are lunatics. They're out of their mind. And I was going to do this on the Main Geeks and Gamers channel, but I'm going to talk more about politics, so I'm going to keep it here. And I got a lot to say. But first, let's look at this story from Variety. Breaking Alec Baldwin fired the gun that killed one and injured another in an accident uh, set on his film Rust. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Let's click on the story from Garbage Ass Variety. Um, and, and, and here you have it right here. Um, and Alec Baldwin fired a prop gun while filming a scene in New Mexico on Thursday, causing the death of cinematographer... Uh, I don't know how to say her first name, but Hutchins, uh, and wounding the director. The incident occurred on the set of Rust, an independent feature film that was filming in Bonanza Creek Ranch, a popular production location south of Santa Fe. It says that the uh, Santa Fe uh, Sheriff's Department questioned him, said he was in tears. I, I totally can understand that, uh, obviously. No one was arrested in the incident. And no charges have been filed, the officer said. Um... Detectives were interviewing witnesses, and the incident remains under an open and active investigation, according to the sheriff's office. Baldwin's reps did not immediately respond to the request for comment. Uh, the, the young lady was uh, confirmed um, to be passed by the sheriff's office, uh, and, you know, th it's awful. It is awful. And then you look at the shit that this nut job has said, because this is the type of person that Alec Baldwin is. Uh, first off, this right here. This was in 2017 when a, an officer, uh, let's see, the officer keeps his gun uh, trained on the man uh, and shuffles back, creating distance. Video shows Huntington Beach officer fatally shooting suspect outside of a 7-Eleven. And of course, Alec Baldwin, using this for political propaganda, takes an unfortunate situation and starts to project at no point did Alec Baldwin think about, oh, that's an awful circumstance. I feel for the parties involved. No. All he saw was police bad. Let me trash police officer. Instead of offering condolences or offering sympathy because this is who Hollywood people are. What a disgusting piece of garbage. Uh, Defiant L's obviously doing a great job of, of, of showing what disgusting people these Hollywood people are. Uh, and and I, I just, how do people not see how terrible Hollywood celebrities are? They are awful human beings. Also, Alec Baldwin says Trump is like Norman Bates. How do you feel now, Alec Baldwin, after you accused the sitting president of the United States to Norman Bates. Trump and his minions continue to try to keep alive this faded, bygone view of what this country is and should be. Uh, nothing would make me happier to see this end, referring to Trump's presidency and his long-running portrayal on SNL. It's not about climate denial or racial insensitivity. It's a form of insanity. This vision of what the world is, these white privilege optics of the world, is really like Norman Bates' dead mother, mother in the basement. Um, 
So again, I love how you say it's a form of insanity. Yet you wanted to take an opportunity, project when a police officer had an unfortunate situation because that's all you care about. These Hollywood people are disgusting and it's projection. And whenever you hear them consistently trying to tell you how great they are and how terrible the orange man is, you have to know that they have a lot to hide every single time, every time. I have opinions on politicians. I don't let it define my life. Shockingly enough, of my lifetime, when I was able enough to pay enough, uh, pay enough attention, to polit attention to politics, prior to Biden, my most hated president was George W. Bush. Yeah, a Republican. That's right, George W. Bush, my most hated president of my lifetime. And to this day, I think George W. Bush is a terrible person. Have no respect for him. But I still respect the office. But here we are where these Hollywood people can't even view the president of the United States as a human being or his supporters. And that's the key. It's not that they hate Trump. It's that they hate anyone that supports Trump. And they view people like me that support the great 45th president of the United States, they view us the same way they view Trump because they have something called a form of insanity, even though that's what Alec Baldwin wanted to say about Trump because it's projection. Again, it's an awful story, horrific story for the families. And, um, you know... Alec Baldwin is just a, a, a deranged individual. So I gave the benefit of the doubt, and then you start seeing how he wants to make light of other unfortunate situations. What a, what a bad person. What a bad... Like, who says that? In, in any way, shape, or form, why would you say that sentence in that situation? Do you think people are saying that now that you've done it, Alec Baldwin? I wonder what it must feel, uh, how it must feel to wrongfully kill someone. Who talks like that? A deranged individual that accuses others of having insanity. It's awful. But I had, I had a lot to say. So there you go. Alec Baldwin. A deranged Hollywood nut job. And now all of his horrific words and his horrific treatment of people in similar circumstances are biting him in his ass. This is Hollywood. They have no sympathy for anyone that goes against their narrative, period.